Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody is doing great, right? Okay, so welcome to another class of Indian Folk Art. Okay, today we are going to learn another new form of Indian art, that is Kalamkari painting. So Kalamkari painting is basically painting made with a kalam or a pen. It comes from a Persian word kalam, which means pen. So in the earlier days, people used to create natural dyes out of things like grasses, flowers, okay? And they used to draw on cloth. So this was called Kalamkari painting. They used to depict scenes from Mahabharat, Ramayana and other epics, okay? And they used to draw on cloths. So this mainly originated in the modern day Andhra Pradesh region. And today we are going to learn it using our sketch pens and our pencil and eraser, okay? So everybody excited? Everybody quickly get ready with all of your materials. We'll just pull up our class and we'll quickly dive into it. Okay. So remember, like with all other Indian folk art series class, what we'll do is in this class, you have the right to decorate your artwork as and how you want. I will just be showing you the many examples, the many ideas which you can use in order to decorate your final art. Okay. So don't worry if you're not able to catch up, you can just remember what are the various designs that I'm using and you can use any of those designs. If you are not able to do it, you can just use the same design over and over again also. Okay. All right. Let us quickly jump into the class now. Okay. So what all do we need for today's class? So for today's class, we will need our copy or our drawing sheet on which we'll be drawing. And apart from that, what all do we need? Let us just quickly see. Okay, we'll need our pencil and eraser and our bright colored sketch pen. That's all. That's all that we need for today's class. Okay, everybody quickly get all of these things ready. And so what are we going to make? What picture are we going to draw today? So we are going to draw a horse. Okay, excited everyone? Because once you learn it, you're not only learning Kalamkari painting, you're also learning how to draw a horse. Okay, so that should be very, very interesting. Okay, so everybody get ready with your pencil and eraser so that we can quickly dive into the drawing part. All right. Okay, let us start. So see here, I have my pencil. So see the first shape that I'm going to draw. Just draw it shape by shape and you'll get it. So 
Okay. So see, this is the first shape. It's almost like drawing a mountain at an angle. Okay, it just starts like this, then it goes straight, then again one step like that from the top. Everybody quickly draw this shape first. Quickly draw this one and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now the next step C. Okay, so there it ends. Next is from here, we leave some gap and then one more step from here. One shape like this from here. Everybody draw this. See, you can see, you can imagine the basic body of the horse coming to shape, right? So this was the neck and the body portion. And this is the front portion, the chest of the horse. Everybody quickly get it done. Okay. So next, we'll draw the face of the horse. Okay. We've drawn these two shapes. Now just see, it's just bring it downwards like this, okay? And then bring it downward from here. It's just like making a U shape. It's just like this, okay? You can make it a little bulging at the sides so that it looks like the horse has cheeks. But if you're not able to do it also, it's completely fine. Just round it up from the top, bring it down like a U or a V with a rounded bottom, okay? Just complete this, everybody. You see, your horse is almost complete. Everybody get it done? Okay, so next, let us move on to the next part. Now, what else is left? Let us draw a tail, a nice tail for the horse. So it's just like a tail, like this. Okay, everybody draw the tail of the horse. It should be nice and bushy, okay? And we'll make a pair of ears also, like this at the top. Just get these things done, everyone. The tail and the ears at the top. So you can see the basic shape of your horse is already there. You're already getting the basic shape of your horse. Now the rest of the part is we'll just draw a tree at the top. Okay, not a typical tree. It will just be the branches of a tree. Just zigzag lines to make it look like a tree. Okay. And then the rest of the work will be done by sketch pens. You can decorate it as and how you want with sketch pens, with as, with whatever designs you want. All right. Everybody just quickly get it done. The tail and the ears. All right, okay, so next step, let us make the tree. Just start from here. You can make the tree any way you want. You can draw a branch of the tree also, or you can draw many branches like this also, or you can avoid the tree also. It's completely up to you. It's just there to fill the page. It will just make it look more pretty. Just drawing zigzag lines like this. You don't need to follow it as I have drawn. You can just make any zigzag lines like this to make it look like a tree. 
it just should look like some branches we'll give time to everyone so that they can complete the tree portion meanwhile those of you who have finished who do not want to draw the tree it's not an issue okay just get ready with your sketch pens the rest of you complete making the tree It's just some zigzag lines like this, just going zigzag. Okay, now what color should you choose with your sketch pens? So you can choose any color you want, but try to choose nice and bright colors. Like I said with the previous classes also, if you choose nice and bright colors, your artwork will really stand out. If you use dull colors like gray, black, your artwork does not look appealing to the eyes, right? Try to use nice and bright colors so that it looks really nice. Okay. Everybody get ready with your sketch pens now. Everybody get ready with your sketch pen. We'll first make the outline of the horse okay we'll first make the outline of the horse on the drawing portion we'll just use a sketch pen and line up the entire part so i'm using this maroon color okay and i will outline the entire portion of the horse this body of the horse i will outline using this maroon color why i am outlining because outlining because it will look nice and neat okay you can see as soon as I apply the sketch pen, it is looking nice and contrasting with the white color of my paper. Okay, so I have nicely outlined my horse. Everybody outline your horse first. Use any color you want. Any color as long as it is nice and vibrant. For this outlining portion, if you want, you can use black also. But for the rest of the part, avoid using black. Okay. Everybody quickly get it done before we move on to the designing part. Okay, we'll just give it 30 seconds more, everybody complete the outlining and keep your colors uh, ready, okay, whatever colors you want to use for the decorating portion, any color, any nice and bright colors, just three, four colors, keep them ready so that you don't have to search for the colors when you're painting. Okay, so shall we move on to the decorating portion? So let us see what color can we use first. So I'm going to use the green color. Okay. So we'll make some nice little marks on the back of the horse. Just some little triangle like structures on the back of the horse. And we'll make a nice little neck band for the horse. Everybody just see this. You can use any other color you want. You can use blue also. You can use red, orange, yellow, whatever color you want. So this is one idea. This is a way in which you can decorate your horse's neck. You can use other designs also. You can make little boxes on the neck of the, on the back of the horse also. Okay. It's completely up to you how you want to design. This is just one of the many ways that I'm showing you.
Okay, everybody? Shall we move on now? So see, I'm just drawing a few lines like this in the band so that it looks decorated. Now we'll just change color and we'll draw the space structure that we have for horses, right? Because we tie the, the chain by which we pull the horse or by which the horse pulls the carriage, it goes through a structure like this on the face of the horse. So let us draw that also. For this, you can use any color again. I have used orange color. It's a neon orange, okay? Fluorescent orange. You can use any color of your choice. So I'm just showing you examples of how you can decorate the horse. You don't need to follow them at all. You can completely decorate on your own, okay? The basic thing is you need to know how to draw the structure of the horse and what are the possible ways in which you can decorate it. All right, what else can we make? So again, we'll change color. Let us take the blue color. And we all know that horses have hair on the back, right? So we'll just make little structures like this so that it looks as if there is some hair on the back of the horse. Okay, so I'm using the blue color here so that it looks nice and vibrant. You can use any color you want. You can even use black for the hair portion, okay? Okay, everybody quickly get it done. We'll move on to what other things we can make with the horse. Okay. So next. Let us make some designs here, some bell-like designs like this, some dots like this to make it look like some bells. And we'll make some lines for the ears. And this is the string by which we pull the horse, okay? So all these little structures, they will make your horse look nice and decorated. All right, don't continue with the same color for long. Keep changing the colors so that it looks nice and it looks as if it has variety. If you started out with green, don't continue with green. Keep changing the colors little by little. So here we have one more band. Okay. Let us use some other design to decorate it. So here I have a orange color. We'll make some petal-like structures like this. It's almost like triangle, but it is shaped like petals. And we'll make little filling in between. Okay, everybody just have a look.
again like i said you can use any design just these are the many examples that i am showing you the different ways in which you can decorate your horse since you are using sketch pen for the decorating and your pen is essentially your kalam so it's already going to be a kalamkari painting just that you need to see what are the various designs options you have all right let us see one more design now so we are sort of drawing a carpet on the back of the horse where people sit on the back of the horse right it has some sort of carpet so we are just drawing that structure at the back of the horse and again we are making some design like this it's almost like one quarter of a flower so we just drew a sort of a straight line from the middle of the between the back and the body and in the corner we drew a flower like structure I hope everybody has taken note of what design we have used here. Okay, we'll move on to the next one now. We just drew one more line, and just like the pattern on the neck, we are drawing another pattern. Just the same pattern we are copying from the neck. See. Okay, now the other side of the carpet. same thing we are going to copy here just from the other side so here we have a straight line like this just like the orange one and another corner we'll draw the flower and finally the line that we just drew okay You see, our horse is already starting to look so much decorated, right? It looks as if there's a carpet put on top of our horse so that people can sit on the back of the horse. Everybody, quickly get it done. Don't worry if you are able to make at least one side of the carpet. you will be able to make the other side of the carpet too because it's the same thing right it's just the same thing drawn in reverse so don't worry if you've just got in one side of the carpet also it's fine later on you can just replicate it and make the other side of the carpet okay everybody i hope at least one side of the carpet would have been done by now all right so see let us make another structure for the back also so just the same thing like we have done for the neck we are again making a blue band okay just like the structure we had make on made on the neck 
same design we are copying again just see the same design that we had drawn on the neck we are copying again on the back portion of the horse on the rear end of the horse so see our horse looks so nice and decorated it's looking very colorful okay we basically are copying the same design from the neck to the bottom portion of the the back portion of the horse okay if you have e done either of the designs then you will be able to copy it here also so we'll move on to the next design now what are the design is available let us draw just one more orange band just like we had done with the green color we are doing with the orange color here next we'll make a little headband for the horse okay just a little headband and we'll make little flowers same thing like the one you have done for the carpet same thing and we'll just make the mouth of the horse same as you had done with the carpet the corners of the carpet same thing we had just made a headband for the horse to see if you can either remember if you have done either one set of the design then you can copy it on any other part of the horse okay so the main thing is that you need to learn what are the various designs available all right so next what is left the tail of the horse and the eyes of the horse okay so for the tail we are just going to draw some random structures like this some hair like structures like this okay just some random structures some wavy structures like this so that it looks as if the hair on the tail is nice and bushy okay and also outline the tree because we are going to be decorating the tree also so once you are done with the tail just outline the entire tree again like i said for outlining you can use the black color also if you want i am using the maroon color that i used to outline my horse the same color i'm using you can use black color or you can use any other color of your choice so just get it done the tail and the outline portion of the tree those of you who had not drawn the tree you can now move on and you can in piece you can make the decorations of your horse if you have missed out on any portion if you want to replicate any portion if you want to create the same design somewhere else on the horse you can do the same thing the rest of you who have drawn the tree you can border the tree with the sketch pen all right now for the trees we'll be just drawing little flowers at the end of the tree okay 
just little balls and those rounded loopy structures around them so for the flowers you can use any color of your choice i will be using either green or blue you can use red also yellow also because they can be of any color you can if you use green they will look like leaves if you use red they will look like flowers so whatever color you want you can use there all right so just see just take note how we'll be making the flower structures see one one round on each of the branch okay one round on each of the branches okay and then we'll draw flowers like this everybody knows how to draw flowers right so we'll just draw flowers at the end of all of these branches like this okay everybody just finish this once you've drawn the tail and bordered your tree just draw little flowers at the end of your tree okay if you see at least one flower you will be able to understand and then we'll make these little filling structures in the flowers so that they look pretty it is just to make them look pretty you can decorate your flowers how and however you want okay it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to decorate it like this you can decorate it however you want and finally we'll draw the eye for our horse okay so there you go your kalamkari painting is ready so see how it looks like a nice peaceful little illustration so the same thing when you create on a larger canvas on a colorful canvas it will look so pretty and you can hang it up on your walls right so in today's class you learned not only how to use the sketch pen and decorate your illustration but most important thing you also learned how to draw a horse so next time in your science projects or any other projects if you have been asked to draw a horse you'll be easily able to remember how you drew it here and you can make at least the upper portion of the horse you can make with ease right okay and see we use so many colors so our painting is looking nice and bright so always remember to keep changing the colors okay don't continue with one single color because that way your painting will look boring you don't want your painting to look boring right yeah so i hope everybody had fun learning something new remember if you've done at least one of the sets of the design then you will be able to copy it on the other side okay it's just the same design being copied multiple times but there are many varieties to it okay so i hope to see all of your beautiful beautiful works in the submissions and remember if you make the submissions for all of the classes you will be getting a certificate and the top 10 people from each class will be featured on the website okay all right everybody i hope you had a good time and you learned something new remember when you make the submissions i want your work to be nice and neat it should not be untidy okay because if all these four cart forms neatness is the key okay it should be very very neat very very tidy all right okay everybody see you in the next class everyone take care bye bye hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun filled learning session at yolo here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. 
On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you've last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I am eagerly looking forward to all your submissions 